Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and this is a John Deere 5085M. And if John Deere uses their numbers correctly, I assume it's around 85 horsepower. Don't quote me on that, it might be higher. I don't know how John Deere numbers their tractors, because I'm a Kubota guy. Behind it, we've got a uh, also a John Deere, it's a brush hog. Looks to be an HX7, so seven foot wide. We're gonna do some brush hogging today. Well, I wonder if I could get you up in the tree stand. That would be sick. A little bird's eye view of the entire thing. Whew. Let's go see how that works. Put you up in the tree stand. Oh yeah, this might be the move. This might be it. Now hopefully I can get down without shaking it too much. A little agua, stay hydrated. I think we'll fire this old girl up. Nothing better than an enclosed cab. No ear protection. However, that being said, they do not have a radio in here, which is not ideal. This is also a very large tractor for this food plot. Um, this one is pretty tight. The other food plots that they have on this property are fairly large and are basically just forward and back. This one has a lot of uh, apple trees in it that they're leaving that they want to grow, so you kind of have to dodge around them and well, whatever else you have to do.
squat is done. That was not bad. That was like, I don't know, what's the clock say? About 15 minutes. So let's hit the trail coming in and out. And I'm gonna go grab my camera out of the uh, tree stand because, well, you're not gonna be able to see anything. So you have been retrieved. Let's go move you guys. Oh, three points of contact. Three points of contact. All right, we made it down successfully. Let's go move this old girl. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, it looks real nice. You guys just saw that across the screen but the other nice thing about cab tractors the bees can't get you not a huge fan of bees I know some bees serve purpose but the ones that want to hurt you don't oh there's a beehive up there oh boy it's like a mobile beehive finishes up uh, that finishes up the entire trail in now we can go hit some of the other trails and see how that goes
start and turn. I wonder what's through this way. We can always back up, right? to this food plot. <laughs> That's convenient. I didn't even know that trail existed. Well, it's cut now. I think I saw a trail like way on the far corner of this, so we'll go over there and cut that and see what that looks like. This looks like it was definitely hit this year, though. shark would be nice because a lane shark can go 90 degrees and we'd be able to cut you know each side of this trail and it wouldn't uh, wouldn't be hitting the cab so much I'm gonna turn around and go straight back down that trail because I saw something heading the other way
hoist ahead of us. We're going to go ahead and stay right out of that. It's all cattails, which means it's really wet. We're going to go down this trail here. See where this leads us. So if I failed to mention, this property is about, I think it's, I think it's 80 acres. Um, and I'm not super familiar with the entire trail system. Well, because they cut new trails like every year. So, yeah. That's why I'm kind of guessing at where we're going here. Get a general idea of where things go, but not a complete idea. Oh, we're at the power lines. I know the power lines. Let's get turned around. back here. You see the brush hog hitting some mud. That's literally how wet it is. It's hitting the uh, tractor ruts. There we go. affectionately known as the condo plot. Well, because that big, uh, I don't know if you can see it up there, but it's a big um, shooting house. So on rainy days, we come in here. Snowy days, days you basically don't want to be outside. Those are the days that we come into this food plot and uh, do some hunting back here. This one's already brush hogged, so that's great. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. We got some brush hogging done. If you wanna see more of this tractor and you wanna see, oh, I don't know. I mean, I have access to it, so I know we're gonna put the food plots in, so maybe I'll jump on board with that. I don't know if we're gonna use their tractor, this one, or my tractor. They're having some issues with the rototiller, so uh, we might end up using my tractor anyway, but. Hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button, and uh, there's actually a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit that little bell, every time I put out a video, you actually get a notification, so you won't miss any of my videos. Uh, it seems like, you know, I've got like almost 14,000 subscribers, but my videos only get about 1,000 views. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I think it's a lot of people just don't know my videos are coming out. They're not catching them. Even people that I know in person, they say, hey, when are you putting a video out again? I put them out every week. So hit that little bell. You'll get notified every time I put a video out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day.